Hello, hello. Who's this then? Yes, my people. I know you've missed that one. Welcome back to the vlog. Look. Let's have a little chit chat, yeah? Let's have a little chit chat. As you can tell from the title, this video is going to be about how I recover and eat after games, okay? But yeah, as you guys can tell, there hasn't been much content coming out at all over the last month or two. I just want to chat to you a little bit about why and my feelings and everything towards my content right now. So basically, as you guys know, I've signed for a local club, Lowestoft. And we're having games Tuesdays and Saturdays, okay? The last couple games I've been playing 90 minutes, so it's quite hard for me to train and record these sort of videos that you guys want to see of me training and working hard because it just wouldn't be right for my body at all. Alright guys, so quickly before we carry on with this video, this video is actually sponsored by One Football. One Football is completely free, you can get it on the App Store or if you use an Android, which you shouldn't be really. Um, you can get it from whatever store that's called. Um, it's completely free. You get all the latest football news all around the world, um, all in this one app, okay? So you can follow your favourite team, so whatever team you follow, you can get all the latest news for them. You also get loads of like highlights and video footage from all around the world. As you can see, there's like interviews here, there's highlights, all completely free, like I said. When the transfer window's open, you get all the transfer news as well. So yeah, everything football related, if you want to keep up to turns with all the football and all the news going on in the world, then you need to get the one football app. This is how like my last like week or two has been going. So I'll play 90 minutes on Tuesday, cover um, Wednesday. I'll do like what I'd be doing in this video today. Thursday evening, I've got training and yoga. So leading up to Thursday night, I'm not really doing anything. I'm um, just kind of like chilling. Friday, because it's the day before a game on Saturday, I don't want to be doing too much because I don't want to feel leggy, I don't want to feel stiff for the game. Because it's going to be a season of having so many games, I want to make sure I'm injury free and feeling as fresh as possible for these games because I don't want to have any niggles and stuff. Um, shin splints plays up quite a lot for me as well. So yeah, basically that is how my weeks are going. It's just like, it's just games, a lot of games, which is really, really good for me. I, like, I'm loving it, but I can't really train hard as much as uh, as I'd like to. Obviously, all the videos that I was putting out was like my pre-season. I was training hard to get fit and ready for the season. So I was able to make content here, content there, content here. Um, and obviously, you guys were loving it. I was loving it. And also, we grew super, 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 super fast. But yeah, guys, with that being said, let's get into the video. Hope you guys understand. If you don't understand, then listen to it again. <laughs> guys right this is my brekkie okay i've actually got a swimming session in 25 minutes so i need to get ready for that but if you guys follow me on instagram stuff you guys know that i have herbal life supplements so this morning the cheeky little combo i've got is the formula one mixture and rebuild strength so basically the formula one mix contains my 25 vitamins and minerals to start the day so i'm fueling myself correctly to start the day and to recover and the rebuild strength contains my whey and casein proteins and some bcaa's in there as well which is unbelievable and it tastes unreal i can't even explain like i when i wake up in the morning I'm buzzing to have one of these because how good it tastes, especially the mint chocolate. Mm. Boy, it is a little bit chilly out here, but we're on our way to the pool now. Another thing that is vital for recovery day is water, okay? Hydration. You want to make sure you're having about three to four litres of water um, liquids today. So obviously, I had my shake this morning. That was about 400 millilitres already. And in this bottle is about 750, so... I'm going to have to have a few bottles of these today. Guys, the, the day after a game, you can sort of like treat yourself a little bit um, eating wise just because you burn a lot of calories, you burn a lot of fats, you like use up a lot of energy. So the day after, you don't need to be, you don't need to be too strict on your diet. Have a little treat here and there. I don't know, have a pizza or something. Um, I'm personally not going to today, but I do sometimes have a pizza after a game or something like that. I'm um, just to treat myself. On the way to the pool now, I'm going to be in there in like five minutes. I don't think I'm going to be allowed to record myself in there just because obviously privacy reasons of other people. But I'm going to be in there for about 20 to 30 minutes just doing like some stretching, um, do a little bit of swimming just to get my legs a little bit loose. Yeah, swimming's also really good for getting rid of like the lactic acid out of your muscles and that. So yeah, that's, that's another reason why we do it. With like the gyms now, you have to like book time slots at like 11 12 1 2 3 whenever you want to go um so i'm going to be in there for about half an hour come home 
about 20 minutes and I'm gonna come back I'm gonna go in the gym I'm gonna do um, just some like arms upper body work and I'm just gonna go on the bike and foam roll stretch for a bit so Alright guys, swimming session done. I was in there for about 20 minutes. I um, just went through a little stretching routine. I'm um, just doing my calves, my groins, my quads. I'm just making sure I'm loosening up my legs a bit just to get rid of that lactic acid and that stiffness. Um, but it's absolutely freezing out here, yeah? It's actually so cold. I'm shivering. There's nothing worse than getting out of a pool, yeah? And then walking outside when it's windy and cold, like, get me, it's not nice. We are now on our way back home. We're gonna go home, have a little snack, chill for like 15 minutes, and then we'll be back at the gym. Oh, good is solo. Hey, well, guys, I'm back home. Oh, you're warm. I'm gonna be home for about 15 minutes, yeah. <laughs> so there's no point in me even doing anything. So I'm gonna skip to the gym. Ready? Magic. Guys, schoolboy error. I've actually forgot my AirPods, so yeah, I'm not really gonna be able to listen to any music, which is annoying, but we're in the little like bike recovery, sort of like workout room section. There's like the weights room on the other side. But, yeah. had some disco lights turn on. Oh what? I hope I'm not in a room where they're about to do like a class or something man. Alright guys, we've got some sort of disco going on in here. Just gonna go on the bike. I'm gonna go on there for about 10 minutes just to get my legs spinning. Um, this also helps just getting rid of that lactic acid throughout the legs, just flushing it all out. Foam roll stretching, bike, swimming, good recovery, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of an arm pump.
boys and girls, because I know some of you girls watch. We're at this gym, finito. It's all our recovery bits done. Now time to go home and eat, which is the best part of the day. <laughs> Would you look at that? Scram tastic, flip it in it. Scram sure, scram delicious, scram tastic. Beautiful. Absolute chef as me, you know how it is. A little bit of pasta, green beans, peppers, chicken, onion, chorizo, and obviously the goated seasoning. You gotta be a real one to know what seasoning I use. And obviously a little rebuild strength, protein shake, just a Help recover their muscles. Obviously, the little gym session, it was literally just a tiny little arm pump. Um, nothing too hard. I only had about 20 minutes left in the gym, so just bang that out real quick. Mumsy's cooking up dinner for later. I think she's doing some sort of beef and mashed potato thing, which I haven't had in a minute, so that's going to be nice. But yeah, the work for the day is pretty much done. Skipping the day a little bit. I've been doing some editing. I've actually got a banana, a little cherry yogurt here, and I actually just had an apple, but I've already eaten it and I put it in the bin because... Yeah, I forgot to record, so yeah. It's my little midday snack. Uh, let me show you something, yeah? This is what editing looks like, okay? When you watch my videos, it's all cut up and chopped up like that, and that's hours and hours of work. But okay, guys, so I know the vlog is just a bit like, this is what I'm eating now, this is what I'm eating now, but because of the title, I just want to show you what I'm eating in the day. I know it might be a little bit boring for you, but some people do just want to know what I eat the day after a game, so, so yeah, this is what I've got. Mumsy chef that up, it looks bloody lovely. What does it look? Bloody lovely. Yeah, so we've got some some sort of beefing. I don't know. Beef. I think they're like I think I think these are like little like mashed potato ball things. I don't know, I hadn't had it before. Mumsy's done something different. Um and obviously we've got our Brooklyn's. But yeah guys, on a day after a game, it is important you refuel, fuel yourself properly. You don't need to be too strict on your diet and that. Treat yourself, have a pizza, don't overthink it and think I need to have this, I need to have this, I need to have this. It's not really that stressful. Um, just make sure you fuel yourself up. Alright guys, so if you did make it this far into the video, you're an absolute legend. If I'm being completely honest, it probably wasn't my one of my most favourite videos. It kind of got a bit boring to the end. I felt like it was just like, this is what I'm eating now, this is what I'm eating now. And this video was actually filmed like a couple weeks ago, if I'm being honest. I just haven't um, been on that grind of editing and stuff. I'm being completely honest with you. Been a bit slackers. Um, but I've just had like loads of football to concentrate on, like recovery. That's literally all I've been doing is like days like that, just recovering and then going again for football because we're having games two times a week, playing 90 minutes, etc. But now I've just been put into lockdown. Um, my football's been cancelled for at least four weeks. So yeah, not the best news in the world, but we're going to make the most of it. That just means we can grind out some training. Um, I've got, I don't know if it, not the next video, but the video after. I've got a cool little announcement for you guys, so be ready for that. The content is going to be mad. But guys, if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. Um, we're on the road to 50k right now. Go follow my Insta, go do all that cool stuff. And yeah, like I always say, stay positive, stay grinding, and I'll see you in the next one.